Hey everyone, this is Mitch with the Native Survival School. Today we're going to talk about my fire kit. Stay tuned. Well, for the most part, my fire kit has been my bow drill kit. I think maybe I lit a fire no other way other than with the Bodro kit for at least two years. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. So yeah, this was my fire kit, my Bodro kit. I mean, I think 2012, 2013, right around there. I think 2012, so three years ago, I made a decision to only make fire with my Bodro kit, no matter what. And that's what I did during blizzards, during hurricanes, you name it. Didn't matter. Didn't matter if it was perfect out. Didn't matter if I was in the mountains. Didn't matter if it was brutal out. I didn't care why I was in the woods or why I was making a fire. I made a bro drill fire. So I did that for a couple years straight. And I got pretty good at bow drill. So the only thing that broke that streak for me of bow drill only was when I lived in the woods in Canada. I had a fell rod on me. So I went with the fell rod. <clears throat> so, I guess, while I was home, it was bow drill for a long time. While I was in Canada, it was a fell rod. Since I've come home, it's been a mix between the two. I've been using the fell rod a little bit since I came home. Now, before I decided to do 100% bow drill, I used to do 100% fell rod until I got really good at it, which is why I did a bow drill. I wanted to get really good at it. Now, before the fell rod, I had other things I used. Like my flint steel kit. <clears throat> there was a time where this was my only fire making implement. I decided to only use a flint steel and I did that for a long time. It didn't matter, you know, probably over a year. It didn't matter again if it was snowing out, whatever it was, I used my flint steel kit. Before my flint steel kit, going back years since I was a little kid, it was always matches. I always use matches and that's all there is to it. I didn't use anything else. And when I started getting real heavy into bushcraft, survival, wilderness living skills, I was still using matches. And I moved over, started using my flint steel kit. And it was 100% transition from one to the other. I've also used in the past threaded amongst there. I think it was before bow drill, after fell rod, I used magnifying glass off and on. Because that's all can really be used. It can only be used when it's sunny out, when the angle is good for the sun. So it's kind of a unreliable way to make fire. It's nice because it doesn't use any resources. I'm not taking metal off my fell rod or anything like that. I'm not beating up and using up another hole in my bow drill kit. Whatever the case is, I'm just using the sunlight and a lens. Problem is, you have to have good sunlight, of course. Okay, so pretty much that's one, two, three, four, my fell rod, five ways to make fire. It's my fire kit. And like I said, it was bow drill 100% or fell rod 100%. Now I usually do a little bit of both, like I said. And, and once in a while, I'll pull out the flint steel kit or the matches just if I feel like it. You know? I have to put them in my pack specifically. 
I have to put this stuff in my haversack specifically if I want to make a fire. But all the time, my fell rods in my pocket, my bow drill kits in my haversack or in my rucksack, depending, whatever, I'm good to go. Now there's something I'm very particular about when I'm making fire. Regardless of what style I'm about to use, I make sure that before I walk away, I put it inside my haversack, my rucksack, whatever the case is, before I head to the woods, I make sure that I have the preferred tinder for that particular device with me. So if I go out here and I can't find what I need at the time easily, then I fall back on being prepared. I have what I already need. So for you know, for fill rod, that's as easy as having birch bark somewhere in a pocket. Whether it be my haversack pocket or one of my rucksack pockets, I bet I have some down in here somewhere. Something like birch bark is easy to keep on you all the time. Yep, there's an old piece right here. So, that's really important. That's really important. Now, some of these, you don't really need to put specific things in there. I mean, if I have matches with me, what am I going to carry? Sticks with me into the woods? No, obviously. I'm going to come out here, I'm going to gather sticks or make feather, uh, feather sticks, whatever the case is, I decide to use as the first tinder to get this flame going. Now, my fell rod is kind of like an in-between. I bring birch bark because it's just like paper gasoline. It's just unbelievable. Better than gasoline. Gasoline is such a flash tinder. You know, it's just the same. Um, you know, birch bark is just unbelievable. So, I like to have birch bark with me, but I can take birch bark from our trees around me, which isn't too often because I don't have a lot of birch around me. But what I usually end up doing more often than not is just making feather sticks. And I make a couple really fine feathers and I just ignite the feathers. If for some reason that's giving me problems one day, it's not a big deal. I just pull out the preferred tinder that I have with me and I go from there. In that case it would be birch bark. When I have my bow drill kits with me, all I do is just carry uh, a tinder bundle with me. That's all I gotta do. And usually it's uh, broom sedge and I put some cattail as well. So I can make a proper tinder bundle. And there's some spots, some fields on my way in where I stop and I grab stuff on the way. I've done that even when it's snowing and been able to get it to light. When it's raining, I can get it to light sometimes. You know, pick up leaves off the ground, those will work beautiful too. Leaves stuck in trees, branches, or even better. But for some reason, my tinder bundle's giving me a problem. That's my job, to be prepared, to bring a backup tinder with me. That's all you gotta do. I mean, going back to Otzi, just no matter what, you always, that's like just the big rule. No matter who you are, where you are, you always have to have a backup tinder on you for whatever device you have. And if you're in a wilderness living skill survival scenario situation, if you're living in the woods, it's as easy as grabbing double the amount that you need, like say cedar bark. Cedar bark with fell rod works, and just grab double. Throw half of it in your pack, or in your haversack, or in a pocket, whatever you want. Use the other half to make your fire. Next time, don't grab that. Still go to the tree. But if one of those times you go to the tree and there's a problem, that's all right. You're prepared. You have backup. It's that easy. I mean, that's how I got the broom sedge tinder bundle that I throw in my bag in the first place. I just grabbed double the amount of the field on my way in, put half of it in my bag, put the other half in my pocket, and I only used half. Then that way I have backup with me. So each piece I have here has tinder with it inside the battery compartment. On my lens. I have cattail fluff. 
because that's what I prefer to use to catch the light off this lens. And flint steel kit, that's in the same realm as primitive fire. So if I have this, I'm probably going to make my fire with a tinder bundle. Because obviously, this is just an easy way to make an ember. That's all a flint steel kit does. It's a half second ember. Boom, there's my ember. You know, that's all it takes. Instead of cranking along for 30 seconds, a minute, whatever it takes, you know, hand drill, bow drill, whatever, to make your ember and all that energy, I mean, you can get it completely with no effort. I mean, you can just, done, ember. So, this is the same thing as a bow drill kit. You still need to follow all the same steps. You still have to put that ember inside a tinder bundle, etc. So I treat this the same as my bow drill kit. I always make sure I have a tinder bundle backup for it. Obviously inside here I've got, you know, char cloth. I even had char uh, cattail, some natural char in there. For when my char, because it's my preferred tinder, runs out. I can just make more here, out of cattail. That's another good thing. If I happen to be holding this and say other things like my bow drill kit or my lens, my, my magnifying glass, because I have cattail with those other bits as part of their tinders too. So it works out pretty well. I could char that cattail to make more tinder for this if I run out of charcoal. Really easy to do. Just put inside a tin and cook the tin just like you normally would. Char cloth. Except it's char cattail. Well there you have it. There's my fire kit. Nowadays it's pretty much a fell rod. I don't carry all these extra items to make fire and all that. Before I went to Canada, I lived in the woods over there, Vancouver Island. It was my bow drill kit all the time. And now I only do it once in a while. So that's pretty much where I'm at. That's my fire kit. I don't even, I don't have a fire kit. I don't bring anything for a fire kit. I have a piece of birch bark somewhere in every bag I own. If I don't have that, I can do curls, make feather sticks, and I just have my keys on me. I have to drive here anyways, so there's my fell rod. That's it. Not a big deal. You know, I don't do a whole bunch of the manufactured tenders, manufactured things, and all that stuff, and pouches, extra pouches, zippers, and all the stuff in them. And you know, I just I find that carrying all that around. You know, I don't carry all five ways to make fire with me in the woods. I, I don't. I don't even carry anything. I just have my fell rod on my keys. I don't really think about it. You know, I mean, if there's no birch bark where you're in the woods, you can just use feathers. Believe me, I've, I've made a lot of fires using just the curls of my feathers. It will get the job done. It will get the job done. This, this will get the job done. There's, there's no question. In any environment, at any time, you can get it done. But yeah, man, my bow drill kit's starting to get a little jealous. I think I need to switch over. I've been lazy with the fell rod, you know. This has been Mitch with the Native Survival School. Be sure to check out our website, nativesurvival.com. And as always, enjoy the outdoors. Mm -hmm.